Ian from Peach Dragon, and today's Arms Day. Look at all these people here. Well, there's less than before, but there were plenty. All right. So, what do we got? Let's get started. You picked up the orders I asked you to get last time. Ooh. These aren't good. Forget the Suros JLB-47 for another week. We still don't have a Grenades and Horseshoes rocket launcher. It's literally the only perk you need on a rocket launcher, and it hasn't rolled in, like, four weeks. Hey, the Dis-43. This is pretty much, uh, a great gun for full auto. It doesn't look like we have full auto. We have Outlaw. Oiled frame, high caliber rounds, injection mold. You know what? If you already have a Suros Dis-43 and you, uh, you have a full auto version, I happen to... This is a great roll. This is a solid roll. Yeah. Totally get this one. These other two are awful. Alright. And then he's got the Xernia D, the AR-41, PDX-45, Haka sniper rifle that I haven't seen yet, and then Izumi RR-4. Uh, the PDX-45 was good. We'll see if it still is. The ARI-41 auto rifle is probably alright. The Haka auto rifle... Probably alright. So, I've got two more characters to turn and stuff on. Real quick, let me show you this perfectly rolled Thessan FR4. It's Torch HS2, Hot Swap, Braced Frame, and Range Finder. They're offering a very similar one today. Can't wait to show you when I log on to my other characters. And we're back on my Warlock. Let's check out what our Thessan roll is. I mentioned just now that there was a really good one. It's not this one, and it's not this one. It's the middle one. It's Flash HS4, which is not quite as good as Torch, but it's still pretty good, and it highlights enemy targets, which is always awesome. Hot Swap, crazy good. Range Finder, crazy good. Surrounded, you're not going to be using it anyway. And then it's got Oiled Frame, which is okay. I'm not a fan. And Single Point Sling, which is awesome. This is a good Thessan FR4. It's probably one of the best. This is another god roll. You should totally pick it up. If you haven't played with it yet, play with it. This is sweet. 10 out of 10. Would use. In Crucible. The Lead Mila D comes really close to being perfect today with reinforced barrel, speed reload, high caliber rounds, and head seeker, but fails by having rodeo equipped. That's awful. We need head seeker counterbalance, and any stability perk. That's what we're waiting on with the Lead Mila D. Alright, and then there's the Tuanella SR4. Now, frankly, I picked this one up because it was an awesome PvE gun. It's an alternative to Hung Jury. If you already have a Hung Jury, then you don't need it. If you do have, if you, if you don't have a Hung Jury, then like, this is a pretty sweet roll. Hand laid stock, Zen moment, triple tap, and there's extended mag over here. This is sweet. It's not Firefly sweet, but you know, it's still pretty good. I personally am going to wait for a Firefly roll, but you know, to each their own. Like, that's cool. What is this? Awful. Awful. Alright, let's check out the Titan. Alright, let's see what the Titan's packing. A lot of Haka weapons, I remember that. Ooh, the Arminius D. I want to look at this in a second, because I feel like this is going to be the most exciting gun that I see. Alright, the Zerinia D. Zerinia D is... that's not a bad roll. This is probably the better one. Um, the range is okay. It's important to note that the auto rifles did not get their 7% buff that they were supposed to. So that's unfortunate. Hot swap is pretty good. Glass half full is excellent. Braced frame is awesome. This is an excellent gun. And then... This one with rangefinder... Is nice. Also has braced frame. So this is a... This is strictly a judgment call. If you prefer more range, pick this one. If you prefer more damage for the bottom half of the magazine, pick that one. Um, they both have pretty much the same perks that you're going to be using. The only difference is glass half full versus rangefinder. I'm a fan of glass half full, personally. 
but I find myself reloading so often that it just doesn't matter. So I should probably pick the rangefinder one. I'm gonna pick the rangefinder one. Yeah, that's good. And then the Jinguko D. This is trash. This is trash. Okay, well, if you picked this gun and you're regretting it, then welcome to the world, I guess. This is probably the best roll here, though. Final round, battle runner, rifled barrel. Shotguns received a hefty nerf, so this already wasn't a good shotgun, now it's even worse. Go ahead and pick the one you like best. I'm just gonna dismantle it, but this is the best roll. If you're into this gun, this is the best roll. Alright, so finally, on to the one I'm most excited about. This one has necrochasm levels of uh, impact and rate of fire. It's maximum rate of fire, minimum impact. That's hilarious. Let's take a look at some of these. Glass half full, rifled barrel, uh, hand loaded. Don't like last resort. Then there's Relentless Tracker, eh, Rangefinder, pretty good, Rifled Barrel, kind of redundant on a Rangefinder, eh, and then the first roll has increased reload speed when you empty the mag, it's a 72 round magazine, chance to return a portion of the magazine after an assist, that's kind of cool. Highlight dangerous enemies and charged supers. That's pretty cool, too. Braced frame. So this is a really good gun. I would not fault you for holding on to it for another week. I think I would probably have a lot of fun with this roll, though. And frankly, I'm into having fun, so I'm going to pick this one. Lots of ammo reloading perks. Well, you know what? I might actually save it. If you have to turn it in and see what it looks like, this is probably the one to pick. That said, I might just save it. Uh, the two reloading perks don't give you any immediate like bonuses. This won't increase your time to kill. It will only increase your ability to respond to a second guardian. And frankly, you probably will already die. So there's no reason to pick this gun up this week unless you just really want to play with it. It looks like fun. Keep in mind, without the auto-rifle buff coming in yet, we, uh, we're not really sure where auto-rifles fall. I uh, probably just want to hang on to it. Ah, oh, man. I wanted to play with it, too. That's so disappointing. All right, the Xerinia D, in case you just really love that gun. The Soros ARI-41 auto-rifle. It's pretty good. PDX-45 pulse rifle is incredible. We've already been over this one a million times. The... Weefrua D is a new sniper rifle. I'm excited to try this one. And the Izumi RR4. You don't even need to bother picking this one up. Amalon snipers are now garbage. Alright, well thanks for watching. I'd pick these two up, and then whichever auto rifle you prefer, I will see you next time with more Arms Day orders. Have a fun week.